and I, um, he was already not very well at that stage, but I have to say this, you do miss a man um, who has lived his life so passionately. But I don't know so many 95 years old who've lived it the way he has. He's lived a complete life. Uh, and God bless him, because in living that life, he involved so many people. Uh, he had his shares of ups and downs. He missed being back in India. He had his shares of that comes with part of being in this, under that spotlight, so to say. But I still remember the first time he met Rene, he wanted to do a film with me. So we were talking about it a lot back then, if you remember. Uh, it was Minakshi. And then he finally, we couldn't work those dates out and then the film was made. So he met Rene and he made a small canvas. That's all he had because that was Rene's canvas. And he said, get me your brush and your canvas. And he made a horse with a Ganpati riding it, right? And he wrote underneath in it, um, 786 um, for Rene. And the magic of it was, he was a very God-loving man. God-fearing. He was a God-loving man. And whatever he did in his life, he did it with a lot of elan and respect. So I would say, whenever you think of MF Hussain Saab, you smile and you celebrate his life. You do not feel sorry for his loss because that's not the man he was. Wo Hindustani hai, as far as I'm concerned, and that's all that matters. Mitti ki jab izzat ki jati hai, to wo aap bahar se baith ke bhi karte hai. Jo MF Hussain Saab ne hamesha kiya. We've always been very proud of him and that we will always be. He's a very proud Indian for us.